So the headlines all over the world are boosting that this is a super successful drug that everybody should be taking it. But you've taken the BSI class and you know that it's important to look at the primary research. And when you do that, you find buried in the data, the another vital statistic, all cause mortality. Now, while the hazard ratio is favorable, it may reduce card attacks, patients that are taking this drug have a higher rate of overall death. Now, how can this be? And this is where there's this fascinating interplay between hazard ratio and all-cause mortality. And these two things are really important. They're sort of like twin pillars that can kind of reveal these surprising truths about medical treatments and their sort of broader effects or impacts. So what do these terms really mean? Well, we've talked about hazard ratio, and we'll just reiterate here that it's essentially a relative risk measure of hazard or risk of an event, so heart attack, stroke, death, in one group as compared to another group over time. Okay, so while the drug may work, it may treat the problem that you're hoping to treat, it may also cause other problems and some of them may be more severe than you're willing to take on.